Um, every time you usually go into like a mall or you know some type of building, there's a first set of doors, and then there might be like some trash can seating, and then a second set of doors, and then you go through that set of doors, and then you're in the mall. I was in that in between spot, that really small corridor, and then the guy walked in behind me, turned around, looked at him like, seriously, guy, and then. Uh, he didn't say anything, just walked straight towards me. So, and I just got back from like basic uh, training from Georgia, so I looked at the guy, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna have to fist fight this guy, and then I didn't know he had a knife, and it was like, it looked like that, like something was sticking out of his hand, maybe the length of my thumb, and then he just came up, I braced myself, side of the head, fell down to the ground, I never went like unconscious or anything. I, kind of grabbed myself and now I'm like okay I'm on the ground this is the worst I can be in now he's gonna get on top of me or something but didn't say a single word just walked right past me like a machine or something and walked into the mall and I felt my head my hand was covered in blood my blood was running down my neck and on my shirt and I looked there was no like official lockdown or alarm going off there's no mall security anywhere everyone's panicking and I looked at the people in Victoria's Secret and they just closed the gate right there and I'm standing on the outside like what am I going to do? And so then at that point, I pulled out my cell phone, tried calling my girlfriend. She answered. She was in Forever 21, which is right there in the corner. And they have two doors, and one they had already closed and locked, but the other one was wide open, so I went through that wide open door, and then they locked it. And someone there started helping me. The employees didn't, they didn't have, like, a medical kit or anything like that with them to help me or anything. Some random other citizen took clothing and tried to bandage my head and then um, the ambulance came and they rushed me out put me in with another individual who was stabbed and then they rushed us to the hospital and we were probably here in less than five minutes